Hey, hello. Okay, let's talk brim sizes again today. I want to talk a little bit about um, you know the different brims, the brim widths, and um, you know how they feel, how how they how they are. You know, this is a two and three eighths inch brim. I call that a classic brim. It's kind of like a good middle middle C middle point. Two and three eighths is very classical. It's not that different from a two and a half. This is a unique hat. It's a two and five eighths in front and back, and then two and a half on the sides. So it's like a two and five eighths hat where they just trimmed a little off the side. So the sides are two and a half inch. We're gonna call this basically a classic brim, but it's a tad bigger, a little wider. Well. Wow. Not really wider. It's really longer in front. These both have a two and three eighths inch side. But this one with that big swoop in the front, this big five eighths inch in the front, gives it a bigger brim appearance, but it's not jutting out on the sides. Actually, much more than this hat. It's interesting. Two and three eighths inch. This is a dimensional brim. Two and three eighths and two and five eighths here. Right? Quarter inch bigger in the front and back. Both classic brims, you know, the over the eye, uh, I want to get a fedora guy kind of thing. That's it. That's two and three eighths, two and a half. This is your Stetson Temple. Uh, the Temple model in this color, this is called Mink, color Mink, um, which is like their brown, their chocolate brown. It's the Indiana Jones hat. Basically, when you flip it down in the back too, and everything is down, that's your IJ hat, the Indiana Jones. You know, some of your purists will say, wow, the crown was bigger and boxier than this one. This is, this is an Indiana Jones hat, not for the cork sniffer, you know, authentic watcher, label watcher guy. It's more for, for everybody. It's accessible. It's the kind of uh, Indiana Jones hat that has a crown that everybody likes. Um, basically, this is like their most popular hat. The Stetson Temple is sort of like, uh, it's got the raw edge, everybody likes that. It's got the two and a half, basically two and a half inch brim, everybody likes that. The big wide nostalgic brim, you know, the bow, the double bow, everything looks very old timey. So this is a real old timey kind of hat. In brown, it's gonna give you a little bit more earthier look, and you could do that Indiana Jones thing if you flip it down, you know, but you don't have to. You could wear your brims up, wear your brims down, however, you know, you like to wear it. But, uh, you know, this is, um, it's almost like a greatest hits hat. It's got all the features that everybody likes. Um, then they make another thing that's called the Whippet, which has a lower crown. It's teardropped, so the back dips down. and has this type of a shaped crown, teardrop. Some people call it a C crown. Um, I call it a teardrop, it's a more common name for it. Um, the Whippet model is basically a two and three eighths inch with a bound edge, wide ribbon binding, kind of like this, but wider. Wide binding here and a little bit thinner ribbon, still a wide wet ribbon, but not as wide as the temple. So that's your two kind of, uh, I don't know, sister hats. They're the two most popular sets in so. The Whippet and the Temple. The Whippet has the binding on the edge. The Temple, which I'm wearing, has the raw edge. Slightly higher crown. It's simple, it's all about simplicity. Just a simple crease with pinch, a simple edge. You know, everything's traditional, simple. Um, their third hat, I'm gonna say, that's very, very popular from Stetson. It's probably one of the more iconic ones, like the Temple and the Whippet. I don't have in front of me right now. It's called the Saxon. That would be a great example of a medium brim or a two inch brim. I like to call that the Sinatra brim. Um, it's one of those subliminal kind of uh, categories I put it in, you know. When I'm thinking about two inch brims, I think Saxons, uh, the can, it's kind of a Sinatra-ish, you know, look or, you know, kind of a short brim, but not too short, just kind of like a good medium brim. I like to almost think of that as just a regular gentleman's hat. It's not big and exaggerated, like a, you know, a gangster or a, a Indiana Jones or some kind of adventurer. It's not flashy, but it's tasteful and it's appropriate. Um, Stetson Saxon is just like this hat, but it has a 
a welted edge, has a little bit folded over, thicker edge, which I think actually is cooler. It looks more authentic and more period correct. Just want to make sure this dude isn't coming over. Somebody was supposed to buy one of my guitars and uh, he flaked out on me. It happens all the time. <laughs> so, I thought, no, I'm going to make a video. He calls, he calls, and I'll just check the phone every once in a while. Flake. Anyway, um, just wanted to say a two inch brim is really cool, and not enough people get into it. It can be a little cooler than the than the two and a half sometimes. I think it's more laid back. You know, you get a little soul patch going here, some sunglasses, you know. It's just like laid back, like you're not trying too hard. Give it a little tilt. I love a two inch brim in black. I love a gray one with the brim down. You know, it's just Sinatra. I also love a taupe. Uh, we have a model called the Ken, which is like a custom quality version of the Saxon, higher quality. It's essentially this hat, it's the raw edge, you know. Um, the can comes in a nice taupe color. I think Roger wears one of those. Might have it on his uh, his avatar or something, I think. But uh, that's a great, great hat. It's very neutral and um, it's like uh, not overly vintage or Sinatra looking. It's just like kind of a little bit now and a little bit then, you know, like a, an updated version of the Sinatra hat maybe. But um, which one is for you now? You know, what are you thinking? So, um, some people would know instantly, they're like, oh, that's the look, you know, on Kevin right now or, the, or before, you know. You already have a target. Look, other people are not sure, should I get a two? Should I do a two and three eights, you know? Should I even do a three inch? Um, well, the two inch is a little lighter. It's a little easier to handle, you know, it doesn't have the weight. But I guess in a way it doesn't protect you as much. But um, the payoff is that the brim doesn't really screw up as much too. The more brim you have, the more wavy it gets. So if you have a short little brim and has a good curve to it, it's got a nice flange. The shorter the brim, the bigger the flange. Generally, the more scoopy it looks. The bigger the brim, the flatter the flange is. You know, you just get a little bit kind of flatter, and it looks a little bit more scooped when the brim is short. It's also less brim to screw up on you, so when it gets rained on, these shorter brim hats tend to be like less of a problem and stuff, you know. Um, so I really like them. Uh, the two inch brims to me are just really cool. Um, I guess it's kind of like an arc, you know, some people will start at the beginning of their hat career with one, and then they work their way in. I started with the uh, I guess two and three eighths was my first half, then I worked my way to three inch. I wore three for a long time, then back to two and three eighths, like uh, the green hat that I wear a lot. Um, now I'm getting into these twos also. I guess I do the two when my hair is tied back, and then generally when my hair is down, I like this, uh, the bigger brims. But they work for both, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you have a little bow in your face, a little skin in your face, you're a slender guy, um, Sometimes a bigger classic brim could be too much. It could be a little flashy or a little showy, or too almost uh, costumey. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like you're trying too hard to look like this or that. Where sometimes a, a two inch looks like, rather than trying too hard, you're just doing it like in that authentic way. You know, you're not one of those guys trying to look like those old hat guys. You are that old hat guy. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference. Sometimes those two inch brims look to me like a little bit more real deal. It's hard to explain, but if you're a bigger guy, I get the bigger brims, but don't always go to the biggest, you know. The, I think the shorter brims have a little uh, little style to them. They have a little attitude, you know. You flip them up and then I can put in a little pool, you know. Or uh, flip it down. And, it's kind of like just, uh, it's very elegant, dressy, authentic, and uh, sometimes I think the face can just be well uh, protected and well sculpted with a hat this wide, but as you start going wider, it becomes something else. It starts becoming a little campy or a little more costumey or something. So look at the width of your face, you know, how wide it is, um, and the way the brim sticks out on your head, look at the whole picture together and say, what does that look like? Is that a big brim hat guy? Is it a medium? Does it look balanced to me? Um, could, I, could I go any more? 
I'm looking now and I'm thinking, no, I don't want to even go anymore. With my brim down, that's about as big as I'd go. Um, I'd even go a little short. With the brim up, I like it like this. Plus, I could go up to, I could go up to the two to three eighths inch. And I like that as well, with the brim up. It, that's got a lot of style to it. But in a way, the two inch is even a little better. Um, especially when I tuck my hair back in points and when it's down, like, you know, really long looking and stuff, yeah, then it's a different, uh, different thing. size is a little bit more. Um, is this Palooka going to Yeah, he's standing me up, definitely. No, no email, no messages, flake scam. Then he also uh, avoids the emails to like, are you on your way? Or, you know, he's like avoiding them. <sighs> Childish, right? Do this man up and say, oops, I couldn't come, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, Let's get back to brim size now. You have to ask yourself, when you try on a hat, can I go more or can I go less? Um, I look at a hat like this and I don't think I could go less with it. I feel like I could go a little bit wider. Looking a little less, I don't think it would work. But that black hat looks really good with the shorter brim. And this, I think I could go even shorter, and it would look cool, you know? Yeah. So you have to kind of almost focus on the whole everything, the head, the hat, the brim, and get that whole shape as one, you know, don't look at just the hat, but look at everything, the whole image, the guy in the hat, you know, and say, you know, where do I think of this look? I just designed the look for myself. Um, how would I change this if I want to chisel away at this and make it a little bit better? Um, I see the black hat maybe looking better with a little bit less brim. I think that would look off, aw awesome. With maybe a little bit wider ribbon, a little more nostalgic ribbon, not this sort of Italian looking uh, high fashion ribbon. A little more nostalgic and old timey out there. And I think a welted edge would be cool, but I'm not really that uh, you know, adamant about it. I like when the edge looks thick, it's kind of hemmed over, you know, that's a cool, cool thing. But uh, the brim does look good, it looks sharp. Crown height, I think I could go lower, but I like the height also, I think the crown is fine. So that's what I do when I look at a hat, I try to think about, you know, how can I improve this? Or did we nail it? Is that the best we can do, you know? Um, Sometimes you want to try things. You want to try, okay, let's see if Kevin looks good in a shorter brim. I don't really have a short brim black hat. I wish I did here, but, uh, you know, like this brim, I'm not feeling it. I don't really like it that much. But I like the two inch very much. You know, so that gives me information in a way. I don't think this was the right hat. I think it should be a little bit looser, first of all. It's kind of tight, you know, I like it. I think it was tightened up for my son or something. He was wearing it. So I would want to take that uh, sweat pads out of there. And there's some more padding in the back. So I might have just been demonstrating for a video and I, I padded this on the scene. You know? But uh, yeah, it was too tight and uh, the color I don't think flatters me that much. Uh, I like the black and I like the green with the black hat too. I don't think that's a flattering color. But, um, that's something I do a lot, is I take a hat and I think about how I can change it. And then I try the changes. I try a shorter brim, 
Um, I try a bigger size, a shorter size, a lighter color, um, a different crown or something. And then, you know, we go in different directions. And if something works, you know, you could get an even better hat, fine. But if not, you know, you know you nailed it, you know. It's, that's the best we can do, you know. So, um, think about your brim size. In the summer, you can get away with a little bit more. Um, now, in general, bigger brims are going to look more flashy. They're going to look more, you know, kind of like, hey, this is a fashion statement, look at me. Shorter brims are also a fashion statement. They protect you more, too, but they can be kind of understated in a way, too. Um, where the bigger brims have a kind of showier look, in summer, you can get away with wider brims. Um, it's just sort of assumed that you want the wider brim for protection there. You're there to make sure that, you know, that you don't get sunburned and we can get away with it. Like, um, there are girls' hats. I've seen some really big brimmed ladies' hats, you know, things that are like, you know, measured in feet, just like really big, big, big brims. Like, uh, you know, like that. Like, put your arms out as wide as you can, almost like a five and a half foot uh, wide hat. There are things like that that are uh, made out of like this sort of soft stuff with a wire in the ends and they're very soft. But um, you can get away with more in the summer. It's just sort of, it's a thing, you know, you need sun protection. So if you need the, the brim, get it, you know, don't be so worried about, uh, you know, fashion. If, if it's something you need, just do it. Um, you know, if your doctor told you, you need, you know, this and that. But, um, there's some, um, there's limits, you know, you don't want to go too far, but bear in mind that you could just, you could get away with a little bit more. Um, if you're a two and a half inch brim guy and you've been wearing two and a half your whole life, you probably can wear more than that if you're doing a dress hat like a Panama um, in a three inch. It's going to be a wider look, a little different than you're used to, but it's summer, you know, you need the sun protection. Generally, you could get away with a little bit more. Um, I could probably recommend if you've had successful brims or successful looks in felt hats, go for the same thing in summer, you know. Uh, if you wear fedora stuff like this, you know, get a Panama with a 2 inch brim or get one with a 2 and 3 eighths inch brim. It's going to look the same. Um, you're used to it already. Don't go too uh, outside your comfort uh, you know, zone, but uh, know that you can probably get away with a little bit more. Uh, in the summer, you know, it's obviously it's better to go with light colors. Um, a lot of hats do come white. There's not a lot of stuff in black and navy, but there are some things. You know, they're more reflective and they keep you cool.